Hello, I'm Lara Kustras and this is Newsfeed, your dose of what people are talking about online. Since the AI boom began, the focus hasn't just been on its groundbreaking potential, but also on fears about what could go wrong. Some so-called AI doomers warn that artificial intelligence might become powerful enough to trigger nuclear wars or facilitate large-scale cyber attacks. Even industry leaders are sounding the alarm, calling for strict regulations. Now, a high-profile bill in California is aiming to do just that. The bill? This AI safety bill passed on Wednesday. Now, it's up to Governor Gavin Newsom, who has a month to sign it into law or veto it. But the bill has sparked heated debate in Silicon Valley. It's no surprise that anyone who has a horse in the AI race has had their say about the bill. Planar breaks down who's saying what. Do you ever feel pressure to pick up calls? If so, you're not alone. Gen Zs and Millennials feel the same way. A study by British company Auswitch found that a quarter of people aged 18 to 34 never pick up the phone. Most preferred up next, we have a story about someone going all out to connect with Gen Z and younger audiences. But don't worry, he's not going to call you. Former U.S. President Donald Trump, who is vying for another shot at the White House, has just dropped his fourth batch of NFT trading cards. The release is timed with the upcoming November presidential election as a strategy to appeal to younger voters. You know, Gen Z and TikTok has a way of grabbing obscure words, turning them into viral memes, and then overusing them to the point of exhaustion. Right now, everyone's buzzing about the word demure. While the TikTok creator behind the trend, Jules Lebron, delayed trademarking her catchphrase, a man in Washington, D.C. has swooped in, claiming legal rights to very demure, very mindful. Happens all the time. He's filed a surprise trademark application, setting up a frenzy on social media. Speaking of trends, a viral TikTok craze in Cambodia is reviving the spirit of Temple Run. But this time, it's not just a mobile game experience. It's happening in real life. Fans of the game remember how addictive and popular it was back in 2011. The game featured an explorer sprinting through it. And on August 1st, players were welcomed back with Temple Run Legends, the first installment in the series to feature level-based gameplay. This story has got me excited and inspired. The world's second largest diamond was found in Botswana recently. The 2,492 carat gem is the biggest diamond to be discovered since 1905 when the Cullinan diamond was found in neighboring South Africa. The massive stone was excavated by the Canadian firm Lucara using X-ray detection technology. Can you imagine a better way to cool off this summer than by getting drenched in tomatoes? If that doesn't sound very demure to you, then you might be interested in to know that thousands of people from around the world gather in Spain each year just for this reason. And everyone has a blast. Just remember to bring a change of clothes or maybe two. And that's our show. Find our latest stuff on YouTube and do subscribe to our channel. See you soon.